Welcome back to another Arcade Fix. Today we're in the arcade and we're going to be working on a Dead Storm Pirates, uh, which is a 2009 Namco Bandai game. And for the last uh, three weeks, this makes the fourth week now, when I've come in to check the games, this game has had a battery O2 error on the screen and the game. Uh, never boots up but if um, I cycle the power it seems to boot right up so let's give it a try we're just gonna unplug the game here and wait a few seconds and plug it back in and let's see if it boots up again. In the last three weeks it's booted back up. And once it boots back up it runs fine. Uh, so evidently the onboard battery on the board is going bad. So we're gonna attempt to replace the battery. And there we go, the game is booting up. So evidently when the game is off for an extended period of time, like overnight, and they turn the arcade back on, uh, it's, the battery has evidently has lost its memory and it doesn't boot up. Um, so this is a Namco system 357 hardware and um, it's based on the Sony PlayStation 3. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into the uh, computer here and take the top off and slide the assembly out and replace the battery. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, well first thing we have to do is open up the back door and we need the keys, which are inside the coin door. And we're gonna need a security bit because it's got two. Well, let's see. I believe it's got four security screws holding the back door on too here, so. I have to remove these four security screws. Such long screws in there, I don't know. Okay. Should have brought my power screwdriver. Okay, now we can take this back door off and set the back door out of the way. Okay, well, here's the unit right here. And these are the pictures that they sent me showing how to take it apart and where the battery is located. The only problem is these pictures don't match up with the unit that I have. 
Um, this one here has the, the flange here, which is bolted down to the, to the board here, but the power cable is over here. Theirs is over here, and the USB dongle is right here on the top edge, and down here it's on the bottom edge. So it's almost like this picture is in reversed and inverted. Uh, but then again, these look like they're in the right position or close to it. Uh, no, they don't. This, this is a completely different unit. Huh. So I wonder if that means the battery is in a different place. Well, there's only one way to find out. I've already taken a picture of, of how everything hooks up. So we'll just start pulling these USB cables out. And we need to remove these two Phillips screws here. That'll allow me to slide the unit out on the shelf. Take these out of there. And I got another USB right here. Okay, now I wonder if I'm have to take this top off or whether we need to take the bottom off. All right, it looks like two fans here. And in the pictures there were no fans on the top, so I bet we gotta flip it over to the bottom. Well, yeah, there's one fan there on the opposite side from the cord. All right, we're just going to have to take it loose and find out. Okay, I'm going to take these screws loose and I'll come back once I get this thing out. Okay, well I done pulled the, the back side of the unit apart and it's nothing like the pictures that they give me. So uh, this here has a, it looks like a, a cooling fan assembly that blows into a plastic housing here. And that housing has Sony computer entertainment 
the system, and then it's got the PlayStation emblem on it. Um, they were showing that under the USB ports is where the battery is supposed to be. And the USB ports are right here and right here. And if you look underneath the bottom, there's nothing that looks like this. It's, it's no aluminum heat sink. Um, maybe that aluminum heat sink is under this piece of plastic where the fan blows. I reckon I could take that off and take a look under there, but um, that would be the only place it might be. So, let's see what's holding that on. And it looks like it's just a plastic cover held on with four screws. I have gone this far, might as well go a little farther. Boy, that's a long screw. I don't know about this. Two of them. It's got to be some type of a ducted cover for cooling. See what happens now. No, that doesn't seem to want to come apart, so I'm not going to try. Evidently, I got some different unit here that's not the same as what they thought I had maybe it's uh, well I did have a sticker up here saying that it's uh, dead storm pirates export so maybe this is an export model and when our assembly went bad they, they sent me this I, I installed this about two years ago because the uh, original one went bad. So, evidently they, they sent us something that would work, but it's different. So I'm just gonna put it back together. 
and have to find out what's going on here. Okay, let's see if we can get this back together. It's definitely a rack assembly that slides out. But there's no battery anywhere in here. None whatsoever. So something isn't the same. Well, at least it goes back together nice. Well, that's the way things go in this business. This is the first time I've I've done this, so first time I've ever been inside of one of these units. Like I say, I replaced this whole unit when it went bad. Figured out that there was nothing wrong with the power supplies. And according to the I.O. board and the LEDs that were lighting and what wasn't lighting that they said the rack assembly was bad, so they sent me this one. I put it in, and it's been working fine ever since, up until three, four weeks ago. Now, what I'm wondering there's a, a board over here that the USB plugs into. And it has a battery on it. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. And then I'll show you this other board that's got the battery on it. Okay, well, I got it all back together. And here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that they have more than one of these units. Um, and this has an uh, export label on it so maybe this is the export unit I don't know but it has to be compatible with what I originally had in here uh, but it's, it's totally different because it's, it's nothing like the one that they sent me pictures of okay now on this side over here where the power supplies are it's got two power supplies I imagine one is for the for the game and uh, one is for the guns and this looks like a, another I.O. board. As a matter of fact, it's a USB. Plugs in here, and it's bundled up here, but it, it goes over, and this USB plug plugs into it. Now, I don't know what that board is. I haven't looked in the manual, but that has a coin battery on it right there, and that is the same battery that they told me that's supposed to go inside this unit here. So I'm wondering if maybe they redesigned it and they added this board here and because it just hooks into the USB-1 that um, 
it's, it's just an extension of the USB board and maybe that's that's the board that has the, the battery that I need to change. But until I get confirmation of that, I'm not going to change it because um, I don't want to mess anything up. So, with that said, everything is uh, back like it was. I put it all back together. So let's go ahead and, and plug it in and find out if the game is going to come back up and run. I just talked with the assistant manager and he said every morning the uh, game comes up mostly every morning with the battery error and they unplug the game and plug it back in and it usually boots up and runs fine the rest of the day. But he said he didn't do it today because he was doing maintenance. So um, that's why when I came in today it had the battery error on it. So here it is, the game's booting up. And there we go. And I should go into a track mode here in a second. And there we go. Dead Storm Pirates back up and running. Okay, well, until I find out what's going on and uh, what, what, uh, differences there is in those boards and if that board is the battery where I'm supposed to change it I guess that's all I'm going to do so uh, we'll have to get back with the boss and find out what's going on and then we will revisit this probably next week but to you it'll be just a straight jump so uh, we'll see you here shortly okay I'm back for you it's just been a short jump but for me it's actually been two weeks now uh, and as you can see I just came in today and still have the battery O2 error so that means uh, nobody bothered to come in here and unplug it and plug it back in um, anyway we finally heard back from Namco yesterday so um, we got some fair, fairly new good news and some bad news so um, first, let me go ahead and recycle the power on this and see if the game boots back up. So we do it just like we did it before. Unplug it. And just give it a, about 10, 15 seconds or so. And we'll plug it back in. And let's see if the game boots up. And there we go. So evidently it's the same thing. If you power cycle it, it'll boot up and the game will run fine until you cut it off at night. And then the next day when the power comes on, we're back to the uh, battery error. So okay, so let, let me go over, let me set this up on a tripod and I'm gonna go over what the Namco technician shared with me. Okay, well here's the email that the um, technician from Namco sent me. Uh, we already knew that this was a, um, a system um, 357, and um, which is a uh, version of the um, hardware is based on the PlayStation 3. So anyway, the uh, instructions that they sent me that turned out to be wrong was for the, the B-Rack system. They make three 357 systems, a 357A, a 357B, 
and a 357C. They sent me the instructions for a 357B. However, this particular game has the 357C rack system in it, which is a slightly different setup. So, um, anyway, this, this is what they sent me. Hi, Sam. Sorry, but you're correct. You have a C rack, which I did not suspect. We consider it not field repairable because it's kind of a pain. Okay, so that means uh, they don't want me to re try to replace the battery. Um, I also asked him about the battery on the I.O. board, the U.S. I.O. board. And uh, he, he sent me this right here. When you go into the, um, the menu system for, for testing, uh, if the battery on the I.O. board is, is dead, It'll, it'll have it written on the screen, the internal battery 01 is dead. So um, that's not what we're having. We got the battery 02 error. So that, that doesn't concern us, but he just wanted to explain since I asked about that battery. And uh, But anyway, it appears what they want me to try. Um, they said the 357 C racks clock error for Dead Storm Pirates. Now I don't have a clock error, but maybe the battery that's in the rack is the battery that sets the clock. So maybe there is some type of error that, that the battery error comes up on. But anyway, um, what it says basically is to go into the menu system and other menu and um, reset the clock circuit. So um, that's basically what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go inside, put it in test mode, and, um, and reset the clock and see if that affects it any. Now we're looking inside the coin door and it's pretty straightforward. You got a, on the right bottom, you got a toggle switch that toggles into uh, test. Then above it, you got a another toggle switch that you can toggle up and down to select the menu. Then on the top left, you have the enter button, and on the bottom left, you have the service button, which you can use to add service credits. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in test mode. Okay. So now we're in test mode. So now I'm gonna put it on the tripod and I'm gonna go through this uh, test and see what happens. Okay, now we got the camera set up. We'll go ahead and we're in the, uh, the test menu here. Now we have to go down to the setting that says others. So we'll just use a select down button and we'll just select down till we get to others. And then we'll push the enter button. Okay, now what we want to do is go down and select clock setting. So we'll go down again and then we'll hit enter. And the clock is set up for February 24th, 2015, Tuesday. So either it's never been set or it did lose the settings. So we're gonna remedy that real quick and we'll be able to see if it holds its memory, I guess. Um, so anyway, today is uh, well, it's 2017, so let me, uh, I guess, select the year that wrong way. Okay, 2017, hit enter. Month is May. Day is 
day and night. And the hour is four minutes. Oh five. And set. All right now, set correct. Now we're exit. And now we can get out of the uh, the menu. Let the game put back up. Well, that wasn't what I expected it to be, but um, okay. And now it's set with the correct date. I guess we'll find out that if the next time I, I uh, put it in this mode and check it, and if the date is wrong again, then, then I know the, the battery must be dead. So anyway, um, the only other thing, if, if this doesn't fix it, Namco said that you have to send the rack assembly back and, and replace it. Well, the boss man said that as long as they can unplug it and plug it back in and it reboots and, and runs fine, he's okay with it. So he doesn't want to put the expense into having to replace the rack assembly. Now I don't know how much it would cost to replace the rack assembly, but I do know the last one we replaced, they insured it for $4,000. So. Um, like I said, I don't know if it would be that much, but I'm, I'm sure it's not cheap. So we're going to go with this and uh, keep an eye on it and find out if, if uh, this fixes the problem. Okay, well I've had the game off now for maybe a little over an hour. So I'm going to plug it back in and let it boot back up. And then we'll go back into the menu and find out if it's still holding its uh, date and time setting. It may need a little bit more time to set. Uh, so probably won't be able to tell for sure until I check it again next time I come. But I figured I'd give it a quick little test to see what happens here. If the battery is truly dead then um, uh, I wouldn't think uh, after about an hour it would probably lose the setting. So we'll find out here. Let me finish booting up. Okay. Now we'll go back into test. And let's go down to others and you know, we don't have to go any farther because we can see right there it's uh, that's today's date and today's time so uh, at least for an hour it, it holds the uh, the time and date so let's go ahead and exit out of this Only thing we can do now is wait and see what happens after it's been cut off uh, overnight and see if it still gives us that battery error. If it still gives us the error, then uh, the only thing to do is to replace the rack system because, uh, like they said in the email, it's not something that can be serviced on location. You have to send it back to Namco and uh, let them do it. And as long as it'll boot up by uh, cycling the power, uh, for now we're going to leave the game like it is. Uh, and if it finally dies all together, then we'll have to revisit it and go ahead and uh, do whatever we have to do to get it back up and running. Alright, well since there's nothing else we can do, let's play a little bit of the game. Uh, the game is Dead Storm Pirates. It's a Namco Bandai game. 
uh, came out in 2010, no, 2009. Um, so, um, yeah, it's been out for seven years, I guess, or so. So let's go ahead and drop a couple tokens in. And let's, let's start a game. And I'm going to start at the beginning, which is, um, we start from here, Stormy Sea. Now, this game has an intro. First, you have to wait for it to load in. Um, like I say, it is based on the Sony PlayStation 3. And because this is a 357C, it doesn't have a hard drive in it. It has a um, SSD, a solid state drive. So basically, it's a solid state hard drive. It's so calm. Now, you can skip this. Said, just push the start button again. Seek, beware. But I'll just let it play through. It's not very long. Whatever comes our way, our golden guns will get us through. Part of the game you have to use the steering wheel or the rudder control. Turn it as far as you can. And just turn it to the right as fast as you can. Okay. Now we'll be able to uh, kick some butt. Okay. Sink the 
ship. Now we got another one. can either Apparently skip this or watch it. Giving up the treasure without a fight. I usually skip it, but uh, I'll let y'all see Legend it. Legend tells Poseidon's breath is in the mountains, protected by three monsters. <laughs> monsters? In the mountains? What do you mean? We're going to take down those monsters and get the treasure. With your own guns. Okay. Next we'll go to the cave. At least you get a right long game for your money because it's well I guess it's set up on an easy level. I'm sure in the settings it has some harder levels. But the way it's set up, you get good value for your money. It's a ghost! And of course you can skip this too if you want to. Never said I was great at the game, but 22, 21, 20, that's basically 19, the premise 18, of the game. It's not a bad game. 16, 15, 14, so anyway, well, that's about all we can do. We just have to wait now and, and see if uh, it continues to have the same battery error. And if it does, then uh, we're going to have to revisit it. But for now, we're going to let it go like it is. So, I guess, uh, even though we didn't fix anything, we learned something. So this has been another arcade fix. Have you had your arcade fix today? <laughs>